This is the Penticton and Wine Country Chamber of Commerce, All Canada's Forum. I hope you're all here for the right reason. While it was largely civil, education seemed to hit a nerve during the third of all four candidates' forums in the Penticton riding Tuesday evening. And then you swoop in at the end after everybody's in an uproar. Like, it's a real shame that the community had to get divided and, and you had to undermine the school board like that. That was an ugly, ugly situation. I heard the word fortunate to have school teachers. Should I start? <laughs> He didn't show up for any one of them. This is fact-based. I was there for all of them. Kids were crying. Parents were begging to keep their schools open. Before we go to housing, I'm going to ask Tariq to check his facts. The fact that you said about the school board meetings was not true. Candidates also exchanged quips over who added fewer positions in health care during Tuesday's debate on the SS Sycamus. Let's cut to the chase. During the 1990s, the NDP added this many spaces to the doctors. We're all tender our own opinions here. I'm sorry about that. That's how many new positions for teaching doctors were added. Zero. We doubled the position. In 2010, Christy Clark made a promise that everyone will have a family a doctor by 2050. That didn't happen. Long wait times for urgent health care, it's unacceptable. What we need is to have a program whereby we can discount their, their tuitions, maybe give them a break on their loans payments if they go to our rural communities. Candidates also touched on issues ranging from the tech and agricultural industries to the major energy projects to affordability. The candidates will have their final face-off on Thursday at the Penticton Lakeside Resort. For Castanet News, I'm Dustin Godfrey in Penticton.